Just about to get into a van. We're going to Kingston right now. Let's do this. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together. Just got out of one of those rideshare things. Like you meet someone random at um, like a parking lot in Ottawa, and then now we're in a parking lot in Kingston. How many other people? Eight, eight adults, three, four. Wow, there were eight adults in that van. Cute town, small little downtown, lots of country homes. Tim Horton was a hockey player. He was an NHL player, he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And now it's a massive food chain. Um, first started out with just coffee and donuts, and now they sell sandwiches and all the other bad stuff for you. Really did a, can you? There's these thing, these, these are called seagulls. And we are nowhere near the sea right now. We got some wine because it is her sister's birthday, Bridget. Happy birthday, Bridget. The Instagram stories are now up. Matt just posted and did a really, really nice story. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. Hi, everyone. Uh, excuse the chicken squawking. Um, I'm just sat in my garden listening to some new music, and I wanted to give a shout out to someone I've just discovered called Charles Klein, who has a single out called Decisions. And uh, I saw it via the video. In the video. Hi, everyone. Uh, excuse the chicken. So that's Matt. He just posted. And let's see. Um, also, Ray. Ray Lagaya in Toronto just posted as well. Posted this song. Super pumped about this, and I'm excited to see the growth tick of um, new streams coming to my Spotify account tomorrow. And I'll show you that on tomorrow's vlog as well. Um, historically, in marketing, there's been two types of advertisements you have your organic marketing, and you have your paid marketing. Organic reach is um, something you're not paying for, but um, it's referred to you by a friend, you come across it in the yellow pages, you search for it on Google, you have the intent to go out and look for something and you find a product or business that you think would work well for you. Then you have paid marketing. When it comes to paid advertising, we've become accustomed almost to paid ads. And we are naturally starting to ignore these ads because they disrupt the experience of the user. For example, when you're on Facebook or when you're on Google, if you're disrupt, um, disrupted with an ad uh, right away, it's it's um, it can work because um, the call to action maybe it's maybe exactly what you're looking for that day, and you get an ad for like um, beard oil or like a new dress or something. And in your mind that day, you're you're looking for that thing, you might click on the ad, but likely you're not thinking about those things. You're just on Facebook, you're chilling, you're on the couch you'll get disrupted by these ads and likely you might not click on them. You can hear Anne's workout music. Anyways, we've become accustomed to these ads because we see them on Facebook, we can expect them to be there, we know they're gonna be there when we search for something on Google, so we've just become accustomed to the ads and some of the times we've clicked on the ads and didn't get what we wanted. So here's why I'm excited about influencers. Influencers are paid advertisements, but they're not really ads. So it's a new economy, it's called the influencer economy. And an influencer is someone that has the influence over a group of people. So whether it's 100 people or 100,000 people, they have a strong influence over their following. So when it comes to Instagram, Instagram is an enormous platform for influencers. For example, let's take what this one influencer, he has 76,000 followers. So he has an influence over these this following. So for example, when he says, go take a look at this new Charles Klain song I just discovered, his following is 76,000 people, there will be a percentage of people that say, hey, like I like this guy, I'm gonna go check this, this out because it's not an advertisement. It's someone who has influence over a group of people that's just saying, hey, go check this out. I am okay taking a loss in this just to experiment what the return will be like and then I can understand where to tweak and optimize. I'm going to have to take kind of a retrospective approach on looking at what streams and followers came in place that I got from these influencers and then um, do a deep dive on that to see should I be spending more money on influencers in the future and if so, what influencers should I be going after? Yeah. 
That was Bill. No, Matt Omen. Oh, sorry, that was Matt Omen. Definitely, like, don't like it any. We're going to Don's house, Don Draper. Oh, I'm gonna need that song. Get it. 